Buffy. The action's in here. There you are. You ready to get to work? Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the third segment of this Hydraulic Nightmare Revival Autopsy. So I've got some plans for what's going to happen today. Let me share them with you now. I've already gone ahead and pulled the fuel tanks. That was easy. So, next on the list. Electricity and plumbing. So what's going to have to happen today, I need to basically take everything from about this line here and disconnect it. Not too much involved there. There's a, there's a little plumbing to work on. I gotta figure out all this sorcery here. I don't know what's going on here, but I do know that it works and I'd like for it to continue working. So I think I gotta, I gotta get to the bottom of all that and make sure it's disconnected. And then the fun part, we'll just remove a little hardware and you know, slide the whole thing forward. And also, now as you can see, without fuel tanks in the way, that's going to become a lot simpler to work on now too. So, basically, I got 10-15 minutes of work to get done here, and uh, let's just say 10 to 15 minutes of magic television time. This probably will take me all day. I don't work fast. I'm not in a hurry, but nonetheless, my friends, before the day is over, this tractor will be in three separate pieces. I guess, let's get to it. Let's go step one, electrical sorcery. Friends, I think we're at that critical point where we can start taking bolts out. Now I went through and kind of double checked and triple checked everything. We got electrical sorcery done. Plumbing done. Tech drive done. Oil pressure switch done. Coolant temp. Done. More electricity. Fuel line. Done. So, like I said, I think it's about time to get all these these uh, bell housing bolts out. Get the jack up where it's supposed to be. Get the two. I'm going to put two jacks back here. I'm putting one under the axle because it's going to have to remain there. And I'm putting my transmission jack right underneath the transmission. Um, overkill for now. Now aside from all the oil dry on the floor because this tractor has been bleeding like a stuck pig for the last week, I'm going to block those rear wheels front and back tight as I possibly can because again like I say when you've got a floor that's as pristine and smooth as this you don't want stuff rolling because it'll definitely roll when your floor is this good. So you want to be sure to block everything up. The next thing you want to be very very sure you do You gotta get some blocks of wood in here because uh, this baby, will, she'll tilt on you and what's gonna happen is you'll get 2,000 pounds of engine teetering on this little, you know, this, this highly safe jack that I've got here. Make sure everything is blocked safe in good working order or good enough working order and by all means go slow. Everything's done, I'm not in a hurry so just we're going to pull this apart real slow, see what the autopsy provides us. So I guess for, for now, I'll get everything blocked up, get these bolts out, and then we'll start 
start prying on stuff and see what we got. All right, guys, and just like that, the little 165 comes to the rescue again. So how about that? We got her split. That wasn't so bad. Like I said, just go slow. Take it easy. Okay, guys, so if you remember from uh, last week's episode, we talked about how this shaft goes through the center here, spins a charge pump, which the little the play that I had in it, that's now gone. I'd be willing to bet that coupler in there is probably in good shape, but I'm not gonna chance it. I'm this far. It's only 12 more bolts to pull this transmission off of here and just be able to look at everything. Now, let's visually inspect this guy. You can see on the front, these splines are in pretty good shape. That snap ring's doing, it's doing a really good job. Never mind that. These splines are in pretty fair shape. They're not bad at all. The ones on the back side are also in pretty good shape. They don't look banged up at all. So, I mean, this guy right here, and those don't feel too bad either. Those teeth are just about gone. So, I suspect that's my culprit. Now I'm gonna to have to pull this clutch off of here. That's no big deal. Get uh, get that new PTO coupler that goes up in there. Uh, that maybe is about 250 bucks. That's not real cheap, but hey, she don't work without it. That throttle bearing feels amazing, and actually it made zero noise when I was in the tractor working the clutch, so I'm okay with that. But again, I still I still want to split that rear off of there. Pull this transmission forward and have a look at that coupler. That coupler is only 40 bucks, so I mean, at this point, I'd be crazy not to, I mean, I'm already this far. I don't want to have to do it too many more times. Now, again, like I said, this shaft, I'm probably just going to, I'm probably just going to leave this be. I mean, he's, he's really in pretty good shape, and actually this, I'll be honest with you, I'm probably wasting my time pulling that transmission off, but until I do, I won't know for sure, so... That's what we're going to do.
Okay guys, we're at a critical, critical point here. I've got all the bolts but one on either side of this uh, transmission tail housing unbolted. I've got this linkage unhooked here. Brake lines, the main hydraulic line, it goes back to your uh, goodies in the back there. High low range linkage. You see I got the two bolts to pull out of the top of this housing and then we're going to slide this transmission back and see what that other coupler looks like. Let's hope this goes well. Okay guys, and here's the final bit of this. Let's see, okay, there we go. And there's that coupler. That one, it's not awesome, but it's definitely not the worst I've seen. I'm still gonna put a new one in, I'm not gonna put it back together like that. All right guys, as you can see here, the teeth on this hub are about shot. There's not much left there. The teeth on this coupler, they're not awesome. I mean, they're not as bad as the ones on the 1100 were, but they're not awesome by any means. Well, friends, I think that's going to do it for this episode today. I'm going to have to order some parts, and that's going to take yeah, two days to two weeks. I don't know. But anyway, I won't make you wait too long. I'm going to order up parts. Throw this back together, and you know we'll see if we'll see if she turns. So, thanks for watching today. See you next time.